So I heard you cut education again, <laughs> and it is in times like these that I wonder, what more can you take from your children? You've got our mouths to shut, our minds to fill, our hands to work, our futures to choose, and you want more than what you've got. You've got 18 years of our lives. And if the average human life is 75 years, then using the formula you gave to me, I'll give you the percent of my life you've got. That's 24% of my life exactly, 25% if we're estimating, one-fourth if we're not working with percentages, and using my analytical skills. That's a large amount of time. I could use a synonym and say, tremendous, stupendous, extensive, I could stretch those words a mile long if you demanded. Or I could summarize for you. You have a responsibility. So when we stand up and use that courage we earned on your cold metal jungle gyms and speak with the eloquency you so instilled in us, when you twisted our tongues to get the right letters out, you tap your perfectly manicured nails on the books that have the money. You turn up your nose without giving us the attention you so gratefully steal every day. You ignore and you bully us into giving more of our aching heads over to pour in the numbers, the numbers, the numbers. You can make a living with numbers. You can be respectable when working with numbers. But arts? The first time a child mentions it, chasing the dreams you told them to chase, the first words out of your mouth are, there's no money in it. You're telling us to keep our minds on the money then. But if the money's in our dreams, and our dreams are only in our heads, and our heads are full of numbers, and the numbers count the students, and the students count, do they really? And do heads full of numbers and deadbeat dreams have room for thought? The extraordinary ones do. <laughs> you know, you can starve your artists. You can steal the only fun colors we've got. You can shove more numbers in our eyes, but you have to know we'll go blind eventually. You have to know we'll burst when we reach maximum capacity. And Hear it from me if no one else. You don't have enough mops to clean up our future. You're killing us. But I hear there's room in the budget for a beautiful funeral. Oh! <laughs> she knows